Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, you know, uh, today somebody sent me a video and uh, it's funny. I don't like to talk about those kind of people, by the way. They are just a bully. But just to show you the hypocrisy of those people. Uh, if you remember, uh, maybe a year ago, uh, a kid, his name is uh, Mimi Hijab. You know, he told the Muslims he want to debate me. And he knew he cannot debate me. So supposedly the Muslim they told him, okay, what what about debating Christian Prince? He's making a lot of people leave Islam. So the guy he put himself in the corner and he said, okay, we will talk to him. And when we call him, he did not debate me. He started playing for me a video recording, cut editing, supposedly to bully me and to make me look bad. And he made videos, tons of videos about a sexual predator harassed a Muslim women. And look, he was surprised and his girlfriend with him for sure. Look at this face. Christian Prince, he said to a Muslim woman, suckle me. Can you believe it? And you know the video actually, the coward, he should, if he attack, uh, you know, he should go against that girl, not against me, because she was saying something really bad about Jesus, who the Muslim, they claim that they respect him and they defend him. She was saying that Jesus, he did something sexual with his mother. And we have the video. And she said the Christians, women, this is why you are not married, the Christian women in the chat, Christian women, they have AIDS and etc. And she tried to provoke me. And this is the video. Just to refresh your memory. So this woman, she called me. And I was not talking even about breastfeeding. I mean, we have nothing to do with the topic. Why he kisses stone? Why he kisses stone? Oh, the Holy Spirit, what? the God in the heavens. I know, I know all this. Okay, I live in Arabia. I live in Africa. You know, you know where? You know, you know, you know what? You know what? Why you kiss? No, why your prophet kiss the black stone? He's a pagan. You are a pagan. Did, did you kiss a stone or not? Did you, do you do you kiss a stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Jesus. Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create stones. He created the whole world. But you must no, kiss. You must have kiss his stones, right? Why? Why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus. Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Boobs. You must be okay. You see, you see guys. You see guys. You see guys. You see how. You see how selfish they are. Look what she said. Oh, no. Look what she said. Look what she not said. Like okay, okay, show me. Show me. Okay, show me a verse. Show me a verse. Really? Show me a verse saying that Jesus, he played why with his mother. Show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that, that Jesus, he played. Listen, listen. You are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say Jesus, he played with his mother boobs, right? Okay. You Listen, you are a liar, number one. Number two. It's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? No, it's not. Can I suckle you? Okay, let us read the hadith. Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle? You? Can I? Suckle? Can I? Can. So the cover of Mimi, he made a video because I said to this woman, "Can I suckle you?" I was quoting the hadith, and he called me sexual predator, and I showed her the muta that Allah, he ordered her to give out her panty and get paid. Sexual predator. But guess what? Muhammad Hijab, or sorry, Mimi Hijab, he said the same exact thing to a Muslim sheikh. He said to him the following. Can I suck your wife tit? To make her haram? I was quoting their filthy prophet. The woman she provoked me. She is the one who mentioned something have nothing to do with the topic. We were talking about kissing a black stone. The coward Mimi and Fifi and Sisi and all the girls. Who they cannot refute us. They tried to bully us. And they thought. By making those videos, the Christians will not like Christian Prince. And guess what? It is the opposite. I received support as never before.
And actually, the more they attack me, the more they try to bully me, the more I receive support. However, my Lord is my supporter, regardless of people. Okay, can I suck your wife dead? Now, this individual is very trashy and low-class person. If you remember, he posted pictures of uh, David Wood's wife, uh, spoke about Samir Abdullah. Even he invited a guy, he was a friend of Samir Abdullah, and in the video he said we offer his, his wife a better brother, which means to sleep with her. I mean, do you imagine how low they are? Okay, the guy is debating about Islam. What his wife have to do with this? Well, the woman she was talking to me, she is the one who called me. I did not call her. It's not like a woman I saw in the street. She called me to debate me. And she is the one who spoke about Jesus doing something to his mother's breast. And I answer her based on what your prophet said. But those people, they do what? They have nothing. They are like a trashy they don't, by the way, not all Muslims like this. Those are the trash. Everywhere there's a trash. So they cannot refute you. So they try to bully you. So the guy, the sheikh in, in this uh, uh, argument, he was saying the prophet, yes, the prophet, he ordered the women to give her boobs to be sucked by an adult man. Mimi Hijab, he is fighting this because this is embarrassing. So what he do, he bully the man as usual. And then after he bullied him, and you will see the comment of Muslims is going crazy. Bunur said, what kind of mannerism are these? Shame on you, Muhammad. So Muhammad started getting like shooting back from Muslims, Muslim brothers and sisters. Shame on you, Muhammad. So Muhammad or Mimi, uh, he have to find like a way now to get out. And he found a way. So he took a picture of uh, something from Walmart. They don't have Walmart in England, do they? I don't know what it is. And he said, brothers and sisters, recently I had a serious back injury. And I have been a mix of extremely potent medications. This mix made my wild nature has produced some very unusual private and public communication. Brothers and sisters, I am bewitched like the Prophet Muhammad. He's telling us he's under and look, he have a picture of a bill. Like, what is that? Even show us what is that? What it says? Maybe you bought some you bought some candies. You don't even show us what is that. What is this? What is picture? So, brother and sisters, because now everybody is spitting in him, you know. Like imagine this filthy, he make videos saying that by quoting the Prophet saying, suckle me. I am a sexual predator, assaulting a Muslim woman. Ass like when you hear the word assaulting, you think like this is real. I mean, we are in the internet, and she is obviously a very filthy woman. Her, you know, her tongue. Obviously, she is. And and by the way, they say she is very young. The woman, she said, I am in Arabia, I've been in Africa, I've been everybody, and she is the one who mentioned about sex. I mean, do you see how young she is? And then, by quoting their filthy prophet. They said this is sexual predator. And now he is saying exactly what I say to the women. Can I suckle you? But I was quoting. She's in the internet. She's not in front of me. And obviously, everybody knows I'm being sarcastic. Everybody knows that I'm making fun of this cult. We will never do this garbage. Okay, can I suck your wife dead? You see, he did not say, I mean, that it's like if, if, if the wife is talking to him, I will say, okay, he is debating the wife. I mean, why you bring the wife of a person there unless you are a trashy person? Like, what about you say, are you saying, I can suck a woman tit? No, no, he said your wife. Why? Because he want a bully. Very trashy, very garbage. Tramadol is heavy uh, drugs. 
uh, okay, is heavy drugs will, will, will make you say things? So if somebody takes tramadol, he should not go on the street, he should not talk. That's, that's silly, very silly. Don't be stupid. So I can take tramadol now and go and shoot somebody. That is the most silly, stupid thing ever. And if you are in medication and you know you are in medication, then shut up. If this is true, but he how he cannot how he can take it back. You know now I can say all what I want and I say I'm taking medication. So, right? That is a very silly argument. Now, sexual predator. Sexual predator. His brother said to him. What kind of mannerism are these? Shame on you, Muhammad. Then to get away, he started coming with false arguments saying he is under medication. Well, was your prophet under medication when he ordered the breastfeeding for adult? <laughs> Why you are ashamed to say what your prophet said? Because Islam is a shame for religion. This is a Shia Sheikh. I will show you Sunni. I will show you Shia. I will show you all kinds of Sheikhs. All of them, they agree. And the one who Muhammad Fifi, Sisi, Dudu, is arguing with him, he is saying the truth. Yes, the Prophet, he ordered that. This Shia Sheikh is talking about Aisha. It's not only the Prophet, he said to the women, Aisha herself, she was practicing that. Whoever want to come to Aisha, he have to suckle her. And Aisha, she don't have enough nipples to suckle all these men. So she order her nieces and her sisters. Fifty men, whatever, come to Aisha to see her. Translation. And they go to the to the to the daughters of her nie like the her nieces to do what to do sakani. And they say, come, come, you know, we want we want your milk <laughs> from your breast. And you know, the funny, the Muslim they try to defend. They say, this is not the breastfeeding, not the breastfeeding. It is, uh, it is, uh, uh, you know, you put uh, uh, milk in the cup, milk in the cup. It's called suckle. You, you, you coward liar. Suckle. Since when suckling is something you suckle from the cup? It's a breastfeeding. And he is saying this is nothing but spreading uh, uh, fahisha is like uh, you know like sexuality and garbage and uh, adultery and etc. This is a Shia. Now let us see the Sunni. I mean the Shia, they hate those Muslim Sunni. What about the Sunni? Do the Sunni, they say, this is not true? This is a big, big, well-known Sheikh in, in Saudi Arabia. Actually, he was an Imam, I believe, uh, who pray in the Kaaba. I don't know if he's still until now. Now, the video quality is not good, but it does the job. Those who speak Arabic, they can understand. Uh, Aisha, may Allah bless her, huh? she did that too. She did what? Breastfeeding. As is mentioned by Ibn al-Qayyim, which is a big, big, big sheikh, for like my dose, you know, little tummy puppy, you know, on YouTube. Uh, Ibn al-Qayyim, he mentioned that. And who? I forgot the second name. And it's coming from Abu Dawood, and it is authentic. بِسَنَدٍ صحيح authentic what the Sanat Sahih says and she, she used to do and let us read the, 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 the text as it is so nobody can complain قال ابو قيم فبذلك كانت عائشة رضي الله عنها تأمر بنات إخوتها 
وبنات اخواتها ان يرضعن من احبت عائشه رضي الله عنها ان يراها وي... So Aisha, she used to order her sisters or the daughters of her sisters to do breastfeeding for whoever she, he wanted to meet with her. And if he's an adult, it's five times. <laughs> if he's an adult, he have to do it five times. Because remember the hadith says that Allah, he sent the verse about 10 times breastfeeding for, for an adult. And then it's downgraded for five, but we cannot find the five. We cannot find the, the ten. Where is in the Quran? What happened? I mean, the goat she ate the one with the ten. What happened to the one with the five? I think what happened is not the goat who ate it. I think the Muslims they ate it because it's embarrassment. Otherwise, why the verse in the Quran? Don't they say that the Quran is preserved? <laughs> And this is reported by Abu Dawood and is authentic. Mm. I remember when I was a kid that there is a very famous uh, uh, scholar in Saudi Arabia. I don't want to mention his name because, you know, supposedly he should not. He is one from the scholars who they are known in the, in the city of Rida in Saudi Arabia. Hmm. He needed somebody to be in his in his house, which means like a servant. So he ordered his wife to give her breast to suckle it, you know, to do suckling, breastfeeding suckling to this man, and he stay in his ho her house. And this is everybody, everybody knows in Riyadh and city and, and, and Najd that this is the sheikh, he ordered that, and this is a very well-known practice. And he became like a son for them by, by breastfeeding. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> uh, there's an ex-Muslim, uh, and if you remember, in the debate, like when it's, they call it debate, supposedly, humiliating sexual predator Christian prince life. You did humiliate me, you coward. I said life on air, in front of every Muslim. I was quoting your filthy prophet. And you coward, you keep hang up on me, calling me all kind of names because you are running from a debate. Where is the debate? Until now, never happened. Even in those a few seconds, and they put the micro, they put my speakers for the computer far away from their microphone, so nobody can hear what I'm saying. Cowards. Now listen, is this hadith is authentic? We heard the sheikh in the video saying, yes, it's authentic. And if we go here, and this is the hadith he was quoting, it says, yes, authentic. It is authentic, my friend. But guess what? The sheikh who was debating, or let's say, arguing with Mimi Hijab, he have a Twitter page. And I found there the following tweet from uh, Fifi. Fifi said, the easiest way to spot a person of innovation, which means fabrication, by the rejection of a clear-cut, authentic hadith. <laughs> and look who is talking. Is it, this is the same guy who he, he rejected the hadith. It says that the sun set in murky water. Where the sun goes? Is it the same guy who rejected the, you know, whoever comes first? I mean, this guy, he rejects every hadith which is authentic. The easiest way to spot a person of innovation by the rejection of a clear-cut authentic hadith. So he's talking about himself and talking about Imam Hijab. Because here we go, it's authentic hadith. Aisha, she ordered... Hence, 
Aisha may be Allah bless her, uh, uh, blessed with her, used to us the daughters of her sisters and the daughters of her brothers to give him breastfeed five times. Do you see the word breastfeed? This is where a few of the lies they try to give you <clears throat> when they say uh, it is uh, it, like, oh no, no, the women, she's just put uh, some milk in the cup. You know, the first question you will ask yourself, why Muslims don't understand their religion? Sheikh Omar Shatila, the one who uh, Mimi, he asked to suckle his wife tits, he said this about Fifi. I just found those actually. I don't know who is this guy, I never you know. But one of you, he posed this in, 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 my, in my Patreon. He says, I have started, uh, uh, as I have stated before, Muhammad hijab lack of proper foundation in the deen, which means the religion, to have a sound understanding is of its principle. So he's saying clearly, this guy, he have no idea what he's talking about. He's just a kid. And that's why you see a lot of inconsistency. And this is true. All the claims, you see, because they are just kids. How the one who says to a woman, caught in your prophet, suckle me, he is a sexual predator, and then you go and you say the same. What happened? This is the inconsistency. They are like their prophet, you know? They accuse you of something when everybody knows I'm just quoting their prophet. We are not, this is not a private conversation. This is public talk. She is the one who called me. I don't know who she. She is the one who insulted Jesus. She is the one who said the Christian women, oh, this is why you are, you are single, you know, Christian women, because they have AIDS. So, she is the one who provoked all of this, and I just refuted her from her book. This is true. This is you. It's your religion who says a man he can suckle you, suckle me. So when you say what is in their books, they call you a sexual predator. But when they say the exact same thing, they are not a sexual predator. <laughs> Do you see how garbage this cult is? Do you see the hypocrisy? Now here, forget about them, actually. I'm not talking, this is not why I made the video, but to show you how, how this religion is a troubling religion for anyone who follow it. Why? Because as the Sheikh, he said, there's something wrong with this religion. How in one hand you say a Muslim woman, she have to cover herself, in the other hand, she have to give her boobs. I mean, what's wrong with this man, Muhammad? And this is why the Muslims, they find this is very tr troubling. It's a stupid cult. And how in the world the Quran says that adoption is forbidden? And why this verse came? Because Muhammad want to have sex with the daughter of the donkey, Zainab ibn Tujahsh. So how adoption is forbidden, and now you are saying to me, a woman who gave her breast to a man, she adopted him, and by the way, you can go and see the fatwa right now, that a person who do breastfeeding for adult from a woman, she is still lawful for him, he can marry her. What's wrong with this religion? Nothing right. Here in this website, this is islamweb.net. Somebody is asking the same question about the breastfeeding for Islam, you know, for women. And, you know, uh, he is very, like, upset. And this is the fatwa number. You know, fatwa, for those who do not know, it's like a holy answer according to Islam. This is a scar. Those are not a bunch of YouTube, you know, kids saying things. Uh, the topic is the uh, the adult breastfeeding and what is the opinion of the mother of the believer Aisha about it. So here he's saying, what is the how authentic this hadith that Aisha she do breastfeeding, and can you explain to us? 
So here the answer. And they are saying to him, yes, this is how, so was the, you know, when you, you try to understand things, try not to get the bad things, the, the bad ideas in your head. So they admitted that it's a bad idea will come when you say a man suckling a woman breast. But ask yourself first, I mean, do you think really a man, Aisha, when Muhammad died, she was 18. So whoever that man is, you go to a woman, she is not even 17 or maybe 16. And now you want to suckle her breast. How she would became his mother. And as we, you know, I can show you the fatwa about the breastfeeding does not forbid you from having sex with the women. Still, you can marry her. You can do nikah too. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so anyway, in this uh, in this uh, fatwa here, they explain to him uh, that's nothing wrong with that. Yes, she did, and this is an authentic hadith, and there's no problem with it. All right. If we translate to English, read with me carefully. They are saying there's no problem uh, uh, that when Aisha, the translation is not coming accurate. There's no problem when people come and enter through breastfeeding on Aisha. Uh, you know, uh, she did that, and there's no problem with that. So don't be in trouble. Yes, she did. All right. And then the same website, actually, and I think this website is running by, by the government of Qatar. You can check it out. You can contact them to be sure what is the, the, the origin. The question here is saying, is breastfeeding for adult? Forbid the man? Does it make it really his mother from, adult, from, from breastfeeding? And is it true that Aisha, the mother of the believers, she used to send whoever want to enter upon her to her sisters or their daughters so they can do suckling and that will make them unlawful? The answer, simply, you know, no. All the Imam of the four Islamic Sunni sect, all of them, no exception, they accepted that breastfeeding for adults will not make you forbidden which mean will not make you forbidden from having sex with this woman. So what the point of this? What the point of this then? If it does not make you forbidden, so all the idea is a, is a fraud. The question here, as usual, the translation is not too much accurate, you know, but it's okay. That the hadith about Aisha, you know, she did the breastfeeding. Is it true that the mother of the believers, she sent an adult who wanted to enter her on her to her sister, daughters, or her brother to breastfeed them? Is it for and he was forbidden for her? The answer no, he is not forbidden. No, it's not. So what the point? Nothing. It's a stupid, it's a man, crazy man, making fun of those poor Muslims, creating ideas just for a joke. And now the Muslims are suffering how the Prophet he do so. They, they think because they think he is a prophet, right? And actually you see in the title, in the top, it says breastfeeding will not divert, like, you know, like will not forbid you from being lawful to the women, you know? This is the title. And this is the fatwa of the hadith, the, 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 the publication of the Muslim scholars. If you zoom here, it's in Arabic, 3901. If you are a Muslim, go ahead and read it, and I will give you the link. So what's the point of this drama? Nothing. 
Nothing. As long the man is still lawful to have sex with her. So what happened? Nothing. And this is the opinion of the four Islamic scholars. The four Islamic scholars, the four schools, you see, in the Muslim Sunni, they have four major schools. Now, there is there's millions of sects, actually, but those are the four, the big one. And then from them, there's many branches. So, yes, all the four scholars, they agree that this is will not forbid you from being lawful to the women. So what's the point of this? Do we have any Muslim have anything to say? Nothing except Muhammad obviously is a mentally ill person. And they are quoting the same guy who said that Allah can destroy Tawheed. It says here that the four scholars of the four Imams they agree uh, that uh, breastfeeding for adult will not forbid you, will not make it unlawful for you to have a woman. And then they explain what Aisha she's saying, and then he quote what Ibn Hazm he said, the one who said, Allah can destroy Tawheed. So forget about those bully. Forget about their denial. Maybe you are a Muslim who don't deny what your prophet said. Maybe you are more decent than them. Maybe you are not a bully like them. But what is the reason for your prophet to order a woman to give her breast to a stranger and that will make this guy go to inside your house? So if you have a taxi driver, he want to give your wife a ride. Your wife, the first thing she have to do before she go with him she have to take off her breast from her bra and he have to suckle her in five different days, five different times until she is, he is satisfied. Not only he suckled like for a second, no, until he's satisfied. And I, I wonder, he will suckle what? I mean, women, they have milk only if they have a baby. Do you think women, even cows don't have milk always? Like, do you think women, they have a milk all the time? Like any time you open the faucet and milk will come? So they will suckle what exactly? Aisha, she, she never have a kid. So they will suckle what? Isn't it obvious? Khalid, who cares if you are playing games or not, my friend? You want you said you want to call me? We opened Pal Talk for you many times and you did not call me. That just shut up. I mean, there's no way all this time you cannot find my name in Pal Talk. You are just a kid. And why you keep talking about yourself? Who are you? I mean, look what we have a topic. Aren't you worried about breastfeeding for adult? And then here we notice there's big trouble with this story. It's not only like a stupid story. But there is bigger trouble. Let me show you how stupid this story is. The verse of stoning and the breastfeeding adult, ten time was revealed, and the paper was with me under my pillow. When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death. And a tame sheep came and ate it. Now forget about the tame sheep. He ate it, tame sheep, whatever. I don't believe that the goat ate it. I think the one who ate it is the Muslims at that time. Because if the goat ate it, don't you Muslim, you claim that you recite the Quran, memorize it. Okay, the goat ate it. Did she eat your heart? Did she eat your memory too? I mean, the goat, she ate a paper. Where is the verse? You know what I mean? The goat, she ate a paper. Okay, we got it. Why the verse is not there? <laughs> if Aisha, she was ordering 
her sisters to do breast suckling for everybody who wanna come upon her. That's mean this verse became very popular. Everybody knows about it. So it doesn't does not make sense that the verse disappear from the book and the excuse that a goat she ate it. Actually, uh, one of you he sent me a video today made by uh, uh, an atheist. He's an atheist. He's an ex-Muslim. His name, I think, Haris Sultan, something like this. And he said the following. I didn't understand the full context, but I just thought, you know, he's here sitting that, so I'll just go for it. So I started trolling him a little bit. I'm, I'm sure he's seen the tweets, but he wouldn't respond. Uh, but anyway, so um, so I, I woke up. And by the way, before we go further, so just so you understand the context, last week I spoke about well, it had absolutely nothing to do with do with it. But it, coincidentally, it is it, it falls in the same context. So I spoke about this hadith, which is a very famous Sunan Ibn Majah hadith, in which Aisha said, again, there's a person here is Aisha. You know, I'm beginning to believe Aisha was cheekier than I thought, and she was having revenge on Muhammad and Islam for some reason. And I'll and I'll tell you why. Uh, so th this is a famous hadith that I spoke about last week, that there was a verse of stoning adulterers and of breastfeeding an adult 10 times was revealed. Breastfeeding an adult 10 times was re revealed. And the paper was with me under my pillow when the messenger of Allah died. We were preoccupied with his death and a tame sheep came in and ate it. So basically the final message of the creator of billions of galaxies, you know, this all powerful being, just imagine. I mean, we can't even lift a, you know, some a two, two, 200 kilo rock. And you know how heavy the earth is, apparently there is a weight. Um, and you know, and the whole, now imagine the whole universe, so big. So the creator of that would be so genius, smart. His final message was eaten by a sheep, by a tame sheep. <laughs> <laughs> come on come on so what i mean the message okay he is powerful allah is powerful but the goat ate the message and are you saying to me that the goat is not powerful hold on hold on don't you know that everything happened in this earth is by the will of allah which means allah he made the goat ate it which means allah is an idiot so Allah, he sent the verse. He sent an angel from the seven galaxies. Wee, 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 Talk, 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 talk. Hey, Muhammad, I have, you know, I had delivery for you from Allah, okay? Uh, the woman, she came to you and she asked you about the guy, huh? Tell her to suckle him uh, 10 times. And then the prophet, he received the message, but then the goat ate it. Look like Allah, he said to himself, what a stupid I was. Let me send somebody who can get inside the bedroom of Muhammad and take the paper and nobody notice. The answer is very simple. Meh, the goat. And the goat, she went in the top of the... Because remember, the hadith says that the prophet was dead. He was what? He was dead. And the, the paper was under his pillow. So the goat, she went in the top of Muhammad in the bed. Meh, meh. And she flipped Muhammad because Muhammad is dead. And his head in the top of the pillow. I mean, how the goat, she was able to get to the paper. If the paper is under the pillow and Muhammad is sleeping on the pillow, I mean, he's dead. How the goat, she got it, she had to flip him. Meh, meh. And Muhammad fell in the floor. And now the goat, she like so happy. And she is so excited. It's like, a, you know, finally, she got what she is looking for. Actually, as I remember, uh, the Islamic FBI, they are, they are looking for uh, this goat. Uh, she is wanted. I saw in, in Taliban FBI, they are saying, if you see this goat, please report her to 1900 Taliban porn. I mean, she's famous. She eats books. 
you put a library in front of a, a goat, she will eat it. She will eat and not, I mean, she will even not even need water. Like, she will not even ask for Pepsi. Goat, my friend, goats are dangerous. So this guy, this atheist, who is an ex-Muslim, he is wondering how in the world that there's a God, his name is Allah, he sent the final message and a goat, she ate it. And look, the goat, she is looking. Unbelievable. Like she says, are you talking about me? Meh. So what this gentleman don't understand that the goat is sent by Allah. There's no way this goat she is doing that according to her will because Muslims don't believe in a free will, not for a human. So what about animals? <laughs> yeah, seems legit. Right. Okay. So the Aisha is saying that, but but here we're not going to talk about the stoning verse, but actually the breastfeeding verse. So there is a verse, and there are quite a few ravaya, the hadiths, that actually say that. And it's quite a common practice in Pakistan, but with babies, not with grown-up men. So there is a there is a tradition that if you know a guy who is who's become an adult, um, and if you want to make him, if you live around him, you, you can't really avoid him. He tends to walk in on you, or he just he's around you. So you know, if you want to make him haram for you, meaning your mahram, mahram are those people you can't marry. They're like your brother, your uh, uncle, your son. But we just showed you that this is, does not make you mahram. Correct? Did, did we show you the fatwa? You remember? Do you remember? Here we go. The fatwa in front of you. It doesn't make you a mahram. Here we go. It does not. kabir la yuharrim. It does not. So even when they lie and they say, oh, because she that will make her forbidden, all Muslims agree that it does not. Uh, Khalid, he's saying that maybe this is only was for uh, a Muslim to practice that. You know, Khalid, let me let me ask you a question here. Give me a sec. Let me put your... Uh, uh, your text in the screen. All right, Khalid. Look what our friend here trying to defend. So he's saying, he's thinking, you know, trying to find a solution for this. I, I don't blame him. If all these scholars are agree with this hadith, I accept, but it, but maybe it's about Salim, not the Muslims can clarify, can you clarify? My friend, I just showed you that the fatwa is saying, they agree that Aisha, she was doing that. So how this is about Umu Salim? Aisha, she was practicing that. So if it is only for one woman, and do you think there's God, he will make a, a, a one to practice for one woman? Why? There's only one woman, she will meet a strange man. That's it. There's no, the rest of Muslim women, they don't. The whole point that this guy is a stranger and the woman she is afraid that her husband is jealous he think wrongly about him he's not her son he's adult he's a man he even went to jihad he had a beard and he is in the house with this woman alone but if this is a rule allah created he sent a verse saying breastfeeding or 10 time for any muslim who want to enter upon a muslim woman for one woman then he should say this is only for one woman in the verse and the muslim at that time should understand it very well do you understand the quran better than aisha so when aisha she practiced it she was stupid how come nobody said to her at that time don't be stupid where is your scholars where where the caliphate how come the caliphate don't say to her, hey, 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 you cannot do that, this is haram. Where is her father, Abu Bakr? Because the one who is practicing the breastfeeding in reality, it was the daughter of Abu Bakr. Her sisters. So the father was there, and he is the companion of the prophet, and later he became a caliphate. And we do not know if he was practicing that during her father being a caliphate. I'm not sure, because it doesn't show the date. So, the caliphate who is her father, and he is the one in charge of Islam, he did not say to her, this is not right. What about Omar? 
What about the rest? All of them. Where is what? You see? Only women who have dignity will not accept that. And this is why you see some women who they are wives of Muhammad, they don't want to do that because this is stupid. So we can notice and we can say that in the time of Muhammad, nobody agree with Muhammad. Nobody agree. Hey, Khalid, I told you I don't use Skype no more, my friend, because you see, when I go on Skype, Muslims they start calling just to stop the one who is calling me. Like the, the, the thing will keep ringing, ringing, ringing. Even if I put myself and don't disturb, it still doesn't work. If you want to call me, I have pal talk. We don't use Skype no more. This is what they do. The second somebody call me, they start calling all of them to stop that Muslim from calling. This is number one. Number two, I received tens of thousands of add me, add me, add me and text, which mean no, no sense. In Patok, I have a control of that. Yeah, yeah, you know, it. Uh, actually, there's a, there's a, you see, all of this, you see, those who they are trying to deny the garbage in the Quran and the garbage in the Hadith, there is a reason for that, because they are suffering. They are suffering. There's a, a Muslim woman from Egypt. She was asking one of the highest scholars of Islam in Egypt, in the Azhar University. And she said to him, she is a TV host. Are you saying now I have to breastfeed everybody in my studio? I have an I have a decor engineer. I have electronic engineer. I have a, a audio engineer. I have the director engineer. I mean, all of them. I have to suckle them all. He said yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sure, you have to suckle them. Let me see. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I found the video. You believe it or not, I found the video. <laughs> Here we go. I, you know, because the Muslims, I'm sure they will try to take it down. This is a public Islamic TV. This is a very famous Egyptian TV host. This is not a Christian prince talking. It's not me. The Sheikh from Al-Azhar and a Muslim woman. And this is part of the video, not all of it. I will post the link for you, so in case you speak Arabic or somebody want to add subtitle, would be good. Here we go. كده. فتوى إرضاع زوجات رجال الأعمال للخدم حلال. فتوى that breastfeeding for the 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 business women, business women, sorry, businessmen. Their wives have to, to, to do breastfeeding for the servants. <laughs> it's halal. <laughs> She's asking him, is that true? She said, I do not understand what this is mean. So I flipped the page to read the whole story. العنوان بيقول فتوى يجب على زوجات رجال الأعمال أن She doesn't want to read it. She is shy to read it. The women, she is shy to read it. It says the big title in the whole big newspaper in Egypt. It's a must for every businessman who have servant that their wife, they should suckle their servants or drivers or etc. They have to give their breast. That's why she was shy to read. She read the, the beginning and then she flipped the page. She cannot talk. And then what the Sheikh will say? He said, yeah, this is what the Prophet said. So what the problem? What, what's your problem?
فتوى يجب على زوجات رجال الأعمال أن يرضعن السائق والطباخ والسفرجي ليحرموا عليهم لا تتفاصلين فتوى it's a فتوى it's a holy order by Allah that the wives of the businessmen which mean the rich men who have servants etc they have they must give a breastfeeding for the driver for the cook for the waiter so they will be haram for them she just flipped the page read it and this is the picture of the big imam this is not a guy in youtube who don't understand his religion So you know what? I read seriously. I do not understand. Come on, you understand. That's why you brought him to the show. <laughs> Don't act. I was terrified. Honestly, I could not understand. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. She used the word terrified, not me. الكلام اللي مكتوب في الجرنان وانا طبعا يعني بحيي فضلت الشيخ ان انت قبلت ان انت تيجي ونناقش الموضوع and you Mr. Sheikh you accept to come etc let us see what the Sheikh will say let us see now she, she said what she said okay until now the Sheikh is not talking let us see the Sheikh الحقني 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 يا فضلت يصبحون محرمين عليها ويمكنها أن تتعامل معهم بلا حرج باعتبار أنهم أصبحوا أولادها. الحقني الحقني الحقني. شو يصير الحقني 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 Egyptian you know tongue like risk rescue me rescue me rescue me that I have to do this. اللي بيشتغلوا معايا دول أعمل. Those who work with me in the studio, what I would do with them? Listen, she said, those who work with me in the studio, what I would do with them? You, you, you give them your breast. What's wrong with you? In hatta yusbihuna muharramin alayha, wa yumkinha an tataamal maahum bila harag baatibar anhum asbahu auladha. Alhaqni, alhaqni, alhaqni. Alhaqni. اللي بيشتغلوا معايا دول اعمل فيهم ايه سواقين والزملاء والمصورين اعمل ايه؟ She hit her cheek, he says those who work with me, what I will do with them? The, 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 the one for the light and the engineers and the, 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 the camera guys and the drivers, what I will do with them? She's saying, are you sure I have to suckle them now? مالي <laughs> ايه؟ <laughs> And the Sheikh is laughing too. Islam is funny. The, the, even the Sheikh is laughing about, about what she said. She had now to breastfeed everybody. She's a woman who works in a TV show. There's a director. There's, an, the, there's the, the one who uh, correct her uh, uh, grammar. The one who uh, uh, put the makeup. The one who uh, choose the clothing for her. The one who do the lighting. The one who do the wiring. I mean, she have to spend her life doing breastfeeding. اعملي لي في الجرنان وات وات هي سيد اي مست ذس وان وات هي سيد اعملي لي في الجرنان هي سيد تو دو از ات سيز ان ذا ان ذا نيوز بيبر واي نوت يو سي دي ار تراين تو افويد سين ذا وورد سو هي سيد دو از ات سيز ان ذا نيوز بيبر which means give your breast to everybody. She cover her face. She, this is a Muslim woman. That's why I'm saying to you, not all Muslims, they accept this garbage. There's many of them, if they give them a freedom, they will leave. This is why she, this woman, she is not wearing hijab. You ask yourself why she is, she is smart. She is not stupid. Islam, Islam is not a smart religion. Islam is a stupid cult. Islam is a joke. And the one, the first one who loves Islam is Islam, not me. This is a mockery. This is a mockery of God, whatever that God is. This is a mockery of a prophet, whatever whose prophet that is. Muhammad making a mockery of himself. What is the decency? What is the point? What is the intelligence? 
Islam is a mockery. And now what the Sheikh will say, is, he said to her, do what is in the newspaper. <laughs> and look at the crowd, like, hey, let us see it. Yeah, go practice, go, go. People are laughing, dying, laughing. Every Muslim, do you see anyone saying takbir, Allahu Akbar? All Muslims are laughing because Islam is a mockery. Everybody there is a Muslim, I assure you, because no, no Christian in Egypt, you know, he would dare to do such an, like, you know, to express his true belief about this, because they will kill him. All of them, they are Muslims, and they are dying from laughing. For what? For reading what the Prophet said. Okay, I'm asking you, uh, explain to me. He said, are you, are you asking me? He said, yes. He said, yes, I'm asking you, explain to me. Uh, she said she to him, explain to me. He said, it's not me who said that. Listen, listen. He said, I did not see that. I did not. It's not me who said that. The woman, she got happy now. She thought he would say, I know, I don't accept. But listen what he would say. I know. I, by the way, I, this is a long time ago. I, I saw it, but I don't remember. But I think he would say next, it was the prophet who said that. <laughs> so when he said, I did not say that, she said, Alhamdulillah, thank Allah, he did not say that. But look what he would say. He would say, it's not me who said that. It's your prophet, you idiot. <laughs> he said, what is in the newspaper is not what I said. My words is exist in a book. Let us see what he said in the book. وليس فيه حرف من هذا الكلام وإذا لقيت حرف في كتابي هدي لك خمس تلاف جنيه بس أيوة كفاية لا أقدر عليه if you find what is written in the newspaper, I will give you five thousand dollars reward. أنا لو أقدر أكثر من كذا والله أدفع لك. أنا أحترمك يا رب. أنا جد يا رب. الحمد لله. لكن والله. And now you explain to her at the end of the day, yes. You see, all the argument is this: the prophet he said that. The prophet he said that. كفاية عليك إن نحلف والله ما في حرف من دول أنا قلته. So, and now she is saying explain so he said what the newspaper saying by word by word yeah you know like uh, he was not talking about uh, you know is simply that woman she had to do breastfeeding for anyone is an adult he's a stranger he did not mention driver etc he's saying I did not say that but it's the same at the end of the day she had to do breastfeeding so now she said to him explain to me and now he start explaining Okay, what the, what the Prophet said? He said, and they and uh, Malik, Imam Malik, he was 140 years after the Prophet. He put it in his book, and all the scholars agree that this is authentic hadith. So he's taking them, don't blame me, it's your prophet saying so. Anyway, those who speak Arabic, you can watch the rest of the video. So he's saying, it's not me who said that, it's the prophet. And yes, this is authentic, and this is sahih. Okay, Khalid, I will open Pal Talk just for you. All right. Give me a second. <clears throat> Mr. Khalid, he insists he want to talk to me. Okay. Last time we opened Pal Talk, he did not call. All right, Khaled, we see your text, my friend. Let me call you. It says you are not online. 
I just called you. It says you are not online. It says you are not online. And now it says you have an, need an update. Use the computer to call me if you are using your phone, please. See, I just called you and I send you a link for the update. All right, fix it and I will be happy to talk to you. So, whatever Muslim they try to say to you, whatever explanation they try to come with, what kind of cult this cult is, What kind of cult this cult is? What kind of a prophet he says, go and let your wife give her breast to someone else? Muslims, they feel that they are fooled. This is why they are going crazy against what their own prophet said. You see, when uh, Mimi, he said to the guy, can I suckle your wife? And he is arguing with the guy who is saying this is halal. He is not going against the guy, he is going against his prophet. He is humiliating his prophet and doing the bully which he is good to do. The bully culture. Why Muslims are in trouble for following Islam? If Islam is a perfect religion, if your prophet is a decent man, and your prophet he order you to do so, what is the problem? The problem, none of them will accept that his wife, she will give her breast to a stranger. As simple as that. You will notice here that Muhammad, he looked like an open, they call them today open-minded, which I don't believe in such a thing. Like you go to your home, you find your wife, her breast in the, in the mouth of somebody else. And you say to her, what are you doing? She will say, the Prophet says so. And then what you can do? Can you take her to the Sharia court? Can you accuse her, can you accuse her that she is doing something bad? No. She is practicing what Allah, he said. And this is why you see someone like this guy from from Pakistan. He is leaving Islam. Why? Because Islam is a stupid cult. If you listen to this guy, his name is Harith Sultan. Both names are Arabic names. This is what Islam does to Pakistan and India. It will make you forget your name, forget your heritage, forget etc. And you will become a slave of Muhammad and the Arab. When he asks a question like this, okay, so the one who created the universe, he sent the final message as the Quran, and then a goat ate it. Live around him, you, you can't really avoid him. He tends to walk in on you, or he just he's around you. So, you know, if you want to make him haram for you, meaning your mahram, mahram are those people you can't marry. They're like your brother, your uh, uncle, your son, uh, father, etc. So those ones, people who, who you can't marry. Not cousins. <laughs> cousins are now mahram. <laughs> because in Islam, you can marry your cousins. So anyway, so to make them your mahram, let's say he's your adopted son or something, or your servant or something. So in order for him to make your mahram or make him haram on you, you have to suckle him. So in other words, he has to, he has to be breastfed. Not metaphorically, literally breastfed. Okay, so there's a disagreement. Some scholars say, no, you have to lactate yourself, put your milk in the in a cup, and then give that cup to um, to the um, to the to the subject. But again, it doesn't make sense. So it says here, breastfe breastfeeding an adult ten times. Now it was later changed to five times because ten times. Come on, man, whoever's gonna, hey, can I please be breastfed again? <laughs> You know, well, hold on. You see here, the, the, the stupidity appear again. Allah, he gave order of 10 times to do breastfeeding for adult. Then Allah, he made it five. Why? 
I mean, don't you notice that there is something fishy, stupid? I mean, if it was okay, if it's okay to do it five times, what about you said first ten times? That is twice more. <laughs> I mean, do you see, obviously, the one who is making those rules is a crazy person. His name is Muhammad. This is not God. If Allah, he said ten times, okay, what happened? Next week became five. What happened? You know what I mean? Let us say I'm a doctor, God forbid, and you are sick, God forbid, and you come to me and I say to you, I'm going to give you 10 bills, you have to take them to be fine. Then another person come to me after two weeks and I say to him, the same illness, the same temperature, the same symptoms, the same thing, five times. So why you give the other one 10 times? And not to forget to mention here, I mean, nobody is sick in this case except Muhammad. So, if 10 times is required, how it became 5? And if it became 5, can we make it 2? What about we make it 1? What about we we'll make it half 1? This is religion. Do you understand, guys, what I'm saying? Obviously, this is a, this is a guy making fun of us. His name is Muhammad. Because if Allah said 10, then Allah, he said 5. What a change happened. And don't Allah, he knew that he will change it later to 5. So why he don't give us 5 from the beginning? What, what happened? I mean, what kind of rule this rule is? Okay, feed him 10 times. And then we find that even if she feed him 10 or 20 or 50, still the man, he can have sex with her. And I will show you the fatwa. It's still in front of us. It's in the screen. It is still in the screen. Breastfeeding for adult does not forbid you from having sex with the women. So what the point? What the Muslims got from this? It's just a crazy man making a crazy statement and you are a victim of it. So when this guy, he is uh, an atheist, ex-Muslim, he laughs at Islam because simply Islam is laughable. Islam is a joke. Islam is a mockery. A Muslim, he will think I'm making mockery of him. I'm not making mockery of you. Islam making mockery of you. Why you don't follow the steps of your prophet? It says in the hadith, Allah, he ordered you to do breastfeeding second time five times. Five times. Do you, do you practice that? And this is Quran. Remember, this is Quran. If we cannot find it in the Quran, that will not change the fact that it is a verse in the Quran. The Hadith says it is revelation. It is a revelation. It is not a Hadith. These verses were abrogated in recitation. And this is another joke in Islam. There's, guys, there's a verses abrogated in recitation. I mean, why you want to abrogate them in recitation? Are they too much to handle? Like what the verse was saying. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. If a woman she wanna enter upon you, suckle her nipple and be until you are satisfied in time. Amen. And then Allah, He make a new verse that says, I will make them five times because we are short of milk from the harem. This is religion. It's Quran. This is not hadith. You see, we are not discussing a hadith. We are discussing holy book. Because most of them, they will say to you, this is hadith, hadith. This is not a hadith. Those are verses in the Quran. And now, the verses of 10 time is in the Quran. Where are they? Okay, what about the five time? How come both of them disappear? You know, if I have money, I will open a business in Las Vegas, haram, halal business. Breastfeeding for adults, drive it through. Like we make a... You know, I, I, I have, you know, I mean, this idea, but you need money for this project. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not an easy project, to be honest with you. You need a lot of, uh, you know. So, like, you know, you do, uh, 
you make a drive through like a McDonald's, you know, and then you make a hole in the wall because it's haram to see the women, you know, haram. So we make a wall, like, you know, you, you stop your car and there's a hole in the wall and then uh, the nipples will come out from here, you know, and you pay with credit card and that's it. And then you can see the women after that. After you suckle them, then you can enter inside. Okay? Halal. So first you suckle them, then you sit with them. Alhamdulillah. But we need money for this. I mean, come on. This is a big project. Like hire, you know, 20 women, 40 boobs, drive through. I mean, if each one of them she will charge, she will charge a lot. I mean, every every goat in the, in, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm unbelievable. Like, uh, what is that? What this religion is about? And what does this have to do with God? And what does this have to do with decency? I'm convinced, by the way, I'm thinking to convert to Islam, Baghdad. I mean, nothing can, nobody can beat Islam, my friend. And they say to me, uh, uh, those who leave Islam, they are fake. Uh, those who call Christians, like the guy, he says, what? He, he's a friend of his friend, use his name. <laughs> I think this guy, uh, when he was, you know, like fighting the idea, he is fighting himself. And when this guy, he left Islam, obviously he's not a Muslim. No, he's, he wasn't a Muslim. He's a fake Muslim. Because a true Muslim is the one who accepts breastfeeding for adult. <laughs> <laughs> weird, it's a weird cultish thing. But anyway, anyway, Muhammad and his logics. Okay, so, so that is the thing, right? <laughs> Apparently, some alim gave a fatwa in Arabic that is perfectly fine. A grown-up man can literally be breastfed in order for him to be made your mahram or haram on you. Um, Muhammad Hijab obviously didn't like it. So what he did, he was having an argument with this guy, whoever the scholar or mufti is, and look what he said. He said, okay, can I suck your wife's titties <laughs> to make her mahram <laughs> so he, go, he goes full berserk you know kudos, kudos for him to being blunt and straightforward so some other muslim brother goes what kind of mannerisms are these shame on you muhammad <laughs> so he goes why is it wrong he believes it's halal <laughs> this in commercial ad all right I look like the commercial ad fit with the, you know, it's uh, maybe it's about breastfeeding for adults too. Unbelievable. What's wrong? What's wrong? Why people they are, I mean, guys, what's wrong? Brother, sisters, this is religion. This is prophet talking. Who can say things better than the prophet himself? Uh, the one is asking me for the breastfeeding, uh, uh, which one you want? Yeah, this, this, the first one here, we played many videos actually. This video here, the Sheikh saying this is Sahih Hadith. Let me post it for you. This is Arabic. And then we have this one about the, the Sheikh from Al Azhar with the host, TV host, both in Arabic. <clears throat> I don't know if we can find something in English. Look, look, look how many videos I found. Look, I just, I just search, search. Real life breastfeeding and adult Islam Sunnah Sahih Hadith Sahih Hadith. Fatwa being a uh, right net breastfeeding, I don't know. 
ask an atheist Brit Fini Fatwa. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, it is hilarious, man. It is hilarious. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, I will give you one more time, uh, one one more call, uh, uh, Khalid. Let us see if it's going to work now. I send you already a link to, to download. It says you are not online. I don't know. So, so you see, Khalid, why I say you are playing games? It says you are not online. Here we go. I'm calling you. This is your name. It says, sorry, Khalid bin Walid is currently not online. So stop playing games, my friend. Grow up. All right. <clears throat> uh, I don't know what else I can say. I mean, obviously, this religion we cannot even call it a religion. I mean, this guy is making fun. And actually, you can notice that when Muhammad, he was training the women to do breastfeeding for adults, he himself was dying from laughing. He is making fun of them. Muhammad himself is making fun of the Muslims. He was laughing. Even the hadith says, until her, his teeth appear, he laugh. Until her teeth became clear you see in the top it says kitab nikah and then muslim translate as the book of marriage <laughs> Uh, you are little liar and uh, you know uh, read Sahih Muslim okay hold on hold on we have Muslim uh, Abbas he said to me read Sahih Muslim okay Abbas you will not say later uh, you don't accept it all right guys Abbas he gave us an answer I took a selfie for Abbas let me find the hadith Abbas you want us to read. All right. Abbas, are you ready? Are you, Abbas, he will say, I don't accept it no more. Just in a second, just to show you how desperate they are. How desperate they are. Abdul, guys, didn't I say that some of the wives of Muhammad, they, they refused to do that? Did I say that? I said that, right? So, I said because they have dignity. But look what you just did. Look what you just did. This is Abbas' choice, not my choice. So he cannot refuse it. By doing that, you ag agreed that Aisha, she was practicing it, and this is Sahih. So now you cannot deny that Aisha, she was practicing shameful act asking her sisters to give her breast to adult you admitted that your wife your prophet wife is acting out of the religion practicing fornication because if this is only for the women and she, she practiced such a thing ordering her sister to do that that means your prophet wife she is a bad woman and she do not know islam and you know islam better this is what Abbas, he just said. Thank you, Abbas. Secondly, you just said that the wives of the Prophet, they said the following, read carefully. Umm Salama, the wife of Allah Apostle, used to say that all the wives of Allah Apostle dis dis disclaimed that the idea that one of the type of a false rage, having been suckled after a proper period, should come to them and say, and, and, uh, and say it to Aisha. By Allah, we do not, not, we do not find a sort of uh, concussion to give him by Allah messenger only for Salim and no one was given to be allowed to enter our houses 
with this type of postage and we do not uh, subs uh, uh, subscribe to this view uh, this is a password but where in the hadith it says this is only for you or oh, sahla bin tusal nowhere and where it says in the hadith that Allah he sent 10 times and then he make it 5 just to go with the story just to show you the stupidity of those who have a low IQ if this was given only for women that will not solve the problem that Muhammad is a perverted man this is number 1 number 2 Aisha she practiced, practiced that that's mean Aisha she, she is a perverted woman because uh, uh, Abbas he said only that women she should practice that so, but Aisha she was not and she ordered her sisters and their nieces. So now we have a chaos in the society. All Muslim women, they are giving their boobs. Abbas agree on, upon that. In the top of that, if we go back to the hadith, we will find Abbas, why you don't call me so we can laugh? It says it's abrogated by five. So let us say Muhammad, he told the women to suckle 10 times. If this is only for one person, you stupid idiot. Then why the point of sending another verse says five times? She already suckled him. Do you see the stupidity, guys? This why do you see why they don't dare to debate me? If this was only for one person, okay, he told her go and suckle him ten times. The woman she went home, she suckled the guy. Do you think she waited ten years after that? Then another verse she came saying, <laughs> suckle him five times. So if it was for one person, then there is no need for the second verse abrogation. Are you there, Abbas? Do you see why you all? Do you see why you are so little in front of me? Your brain is so so slow. And actually, I have to say, this is my struggle with those people. I find that there's nobody have an IQ to debate. They don't have an IQ. It's only for that woman, okay? I suppose that solved the problem. First, this is stupid. Secondly, your wife a prophet, she practiced, why well, your prophet did not say to her, don't do that? Why well, your prophet did not say to Aisha, don't do that? Why well, the caliphate didn't say to her, don't, because this is a shame, if this is not Islamic, then she should be punished. Nobody stop her. In the top of that, Allah He sent another verse later. There's no way He sent it in the same five minutes, and that would be stupid. That would be extreme stupid too. And look at Abbas now; he is kicking his, his himself with the with the pizza he is delivering to somebody. He will stop the car. He will be shaking. He will open the pizza. He did beat me. It was only I said to him, it was only for that woman. And now Aisha, she looked like she is a bad woman practicing prostitution, fornication, maybe. And you know, look at the heck. So why Aisha, she is doing that? She is bad Muslim. And look, just by what Abbas, he said, he destroyed Islam from the top to the bottom. Why? Let me show you why. If Aisha, she was practicing this, and this is not Islamic, that's mean Aisha is a Khabitha. What Khabith mean? Very bad person. But what the Quran says? The Quran says something very stupid. Let me show you. Al Khabithatu lil Khabithin wa Tayyibatu lil Tayyibin. What the heck does that mean? Read carefully with me. <laughs> <laughs> chapter 24 verse number 26 Muhammad aka Allah he opened his mouth it's same as a goat chewing something loud look at this stupid translation any clean things for any clean ones what is that man what kind of translate let us change translation what does this have to do with unclean? Stupid shaker. Let us see uh, Muhammad Hilali Muhammad Khan. Eh. Laugh with me, laugh. Laugh, laugh. 
to make it simple bad ones the bad women they marry bad men do you see it bad women they marry bad men so if Aisha she was doing something bad I mean how bad it can be more than ordering your sisters to suckle the breast to give their breast to strangers how bad it can be to be Aisha and here you saw you notice the Quran is a stupid book because how many men good men they marry bad women is it true really that bad men marry only bad women and bad women they marry only bad bad men and is it true that good men they marry good women is it true and this is destiny by the way this is not even a choice which mean if you see a bad woman that's mean her husband must be bad too if you see a bad man her husband must be bad his, his wife must be bad woman so this is stupid this is this is unfair and this is not right and this is a, a, you know, absolutely garbage but I'm going with Abbas Abbas saying that Aisha she was practicing that the wives of the Prophet they refuse it so Aisha she was a bad woman that's mean Muhammad is a bad man because the Quran says bad women for bad men do you see it did Allah marry Muhammad to a bad woman and he is a bad man? If you open the interpretation, you will see that Allah had destiny for man to marry a woman like him. Bad men, they marry bad women. Bad women, they marry bad men. And this is absolutely false because many good men marry bad women and vice versa, the opposite. Many good women, they marry bad men. And that's why people, they get divorced. Or maybe both of them, they are good, but there's no... You know agreement about something so this is statement alone actually showing you that how shallow how low the IQ of the one who made the Quran in the top of that how shallow is the one who defended and because the shallow defend lawyer he is trying to defend a shallow God he fail because by this post you prove to us many things Muhammad he married a bad woman her name is Aisha asking her sisters to do something not Islamic according to Abbas and what is that thing giving their breast to a stranger imagine that Aisha she go to Lisa Square in London and she is doing da'wah And she is having with her a bunch of her sisters, five, ten, seven nieces. And all of them, their nipples coming out. And she ordered her, ordered them, to give their nipples to strangers. What is your opinion, Abbas? What happened to Abbas? Why Abbas is dead since the last time he posted, he, he stopped boasting. Abbas, are you alive? I'm worried about you, my friend. So your wife, your private wife is a bad woman. Yes, yeah, Salim is a stranger. This is not their son. I mean, not Salim. I mean, the guy who is uh, supposedly... What's Salim? What's Salim have to do with this? So, uh, if anyone is a stranger, and I, we showed you the fatwa. I mean, why the Muslims are so confused? Abbas is ashamed of what his prophet said and what his prophet wife she did. Abbas, are you willing to condemn the behavior of your prophet wife Aisha? Are you willing to condemn the behavior of Aisha? Say yes, please. Because if Aisha she was saying so, doing so, and you are the one who agreed, and this is not Islamic, that means she was a bad Muslim woman. Are you willing to say so? You will not talk. Abbas now is under the sink. What do you think? <clears throat> oh.
Any Muslim want to say something to us? Uh, hold on, hold on. Abbas, he posted something else. Abbas, finally, he is talking. Each time Abbas, he says something, he beat his prophet. And you know what? I'm afraid that the Muslim, they will say that Abbas, he worked for me. Just wait. They will say Abbas is not a Muslim. Look what Abbas, he just said. You are a desperate kid. Read Bukhari. 5102 are you serious are you serious you stupid idiot you made it even more more dumb let us open Bukhari <laughs> I think this guy is <laughs> Bukhari 5102 okay Five one zero two. Oh boy, you ask for it. You ask for it. <sighs> Narrated Aisha that the Prophet entered upon her while a man was sitting with her. Sign of answer seemed to appear on his face as he disliked that. She said, "She said he is my foster brother." He's what? He is my foster brother. He said, be sure as to who your foster brother for foster second relationship established only when milk is the only food of a child. You stupid idiot Abbas, you just got your prophet busted. If relationship established only when a person is a child, so how he ordered the women to give her a breast for adult. Abbas, are you sure you don't work for assassination group to shoot the prophet in his bum? You just killed your prophet. Because relationship established for a child. So he's asking her, do he was a child? She did not say he breastfeeding from adult. She's saying he's breastfeeded, you know, not from her. That's mean they have from the same breast when they are children. So he said to her, be sure that he is. Uh, he did that when he was a kid, right? So what this verse is about? That's mean your prophet is a scam. Do you see it, guys? When I say they have the lowest IQ, those who defend Islam, you don't believe me? The proof in front of you. Because if the Prophet, he believe that that can forbid relationship or something unlawful to happen only if a person is a child. So he ordered the women to do breastfeeding for adult. Why? Are you there? And this is coming from Allah. Are you there, Abbas? He will faint again. He will faint. He will go in coma now. And he will go and search Google to find a solution. You see, the more you try to defend, you know, the more you dig under the foot of your prophet. Because this is what you prove to us, that Allah prophet bees upon him. He told Aisha, that real relationship established only when milk is the is, is the only food for a child. So why he ordered the women to do breastfeeding for adult? <laughs> First, you're stupid, Abdul. This is before this verse came. You are an idiot. You are a donkey. This verse about breastfeeding, this is different verse from breastfeeding for a child. This one is breastfeeding for adult. This is totally different verse. So there were stages for the Quran. 
And when this verse came, this verse came when Muhammad, he married Zainab bin Tujahs as a sheikh, he said in the video. So obviously Muhammad is a fraud. Because, and secondly, you know, what kind of religion this religion is? So if my mother, she suckled the child of the neighbor, let us say, uh, his mother, she have a problem, and she want to do like a charity uh, help for the baby, and she suckled him. Now he became my brother. That's stupid. That's really silly. That's really, really dummy. There's a guy, a Muslim guy. He said when he was having sexual, you know, with the, uh, practice with his wife, he suckled her breast, and some drops of milk drop in his mouth. He's asking, is she became my sister? <laughs> so Abbas again, Abbas, why you don't call me my friend? You are fun. I mean, I would love to see people listening to you reading exactly. Just, just read for me what you just said so we can have it documented by your voice. Abbas, so relationship can be established only if you do it to a child. So your prophet was doing it to adult, to a man, why? Doesn't, doesn't make any difference, you idiot. You see, if she is an exception, then we answered you. Then how Allah, he sent another five time verse, if it's only for that woman. Here we go. He tried to fix it, the poor kid. Did your prophet, he order another five later? If it's only for her, that's it, the story is over. Secondly, as long as this relationship cannot be established, how come it's going to establish only for that woman? Why she have a different DNA? <laughs> it's only for that woman, okay? Only for that woman. Why her nipples are different? Her nipples are coming from the land of Nepaline? Maybe from Nepal. Now I know why they call it Nepal. <laughs> See how funny? As I said, the case of Salim was exception. Where it says that? And if it's an exception, why Allah he sent the second verse saying five times, you donkey? Okay, the first verse of ten times was an only for Umm Salim. Oh, so, sorry, for, uh, for Sahla. So the second verse of five times was sent to who? Are you there, Abbas? I will go with you. Allah, he sent... Okay, let us go Zach and I. Great temper. First of all, you are stupid. Zach and I, first, how you know it's me? I know your name. I know you where you live. And the most time I'm putting your name everywhere. Uh, okay, Zach and Naik, if you know my name and uh, you know where I live, what does this have to do with the topic? Are you, are you going to visit me? First of all, I can't come visit you because I'm doing breastfeeding. Uh, wait, what, you are doing what? I'm doing breastfeeding. But the, the, this breastfeeding was only for uh, Sahla bin Suhail. This is what the uh, Prophet Abbas, peace upon him, he said. First of all, you are stupid, and the guy that bath is stupid too. Because the, the verse came after the verse. And the second verse said, do it five times. So if the third verse what came for Salah bin Tutail, then the second verse came for you. I get you busted. So I can make you get me busted, what I can say. I mean, this is deep. The first verse was for Sarah. It was only for her, according to Abbas. Peace be upon him. The second verse came to who? What do you think came to who? Chris and Prince came to me and people like me, who they are very angry. And by the way, I love hummus, and I do all of the bread feeding with hummus. How you do? How, how does have to do with this? Because I think the prophet he made the point. He should say bread feeding and hummus can make relationship. If you don't believe me, ask my wife. What an idiot! So if this is only for one woman, the second verse of a breast feeding five times sent to who? Why you don't call me uh, Abbas? Do you know how many people missed you, my friend? Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I hope you open your umbrella before we receive the phone call from Brother Zachary. I'm going to stop here.
we have enough uh, fun for today don't forget to download the video because as you know i don't keep them and my videos make muslims so angry for they are very truthful and we don't practice political correctness say things as it is otherwise you are otherwise you are just a hypocrite as the rest say it as it is this is a, this is a stupid that's a stupid you say it's a stupid you think Muhammad is a stupid don't say this is wrong say he is a stupid if you think he's a bad say he's bad don't be a false person who don't dare to say his opinion don't and Khalid, I called you many times, my friend, and you did not answer. What's wrong with you? Let me call you again. Here we go, in the front of everybody. Last call. This is Khalid. And we are going to call him. He keep asking me to call him. All right. It says you are not offline. You are not online. So one more time, you say to me, call me. I will send you free shipping and handing it to Allah. You are just a kid, and let me block you. Or you know what? I will let you stay in the chat. I will ignore your text. My friends, our Muslims, listeners, we love you as people, but Islam is a joke. And all that you see, this resistance for what your prophet taught, is a clear sign that you are disgusted by what he did and what he said and what he taught you to do. And this is why you don't follow what he said. How many Muslims they practice this? And since when there's God, he sent a rule of religion for one person. Since when? A woman, she have a problem. That means anyone who have the same problem, he can practice the solution. How come it is a solution only for that woman? Because you became ashamed and you don't want to believe for a second. And if that one is for that one, for that woman alone, Muhammad himself, he exposed himself. And by the help of our friend Abbas, the pizza guy, the pizza scholar, he exposed Muhammad by saying, well, the relationship of haram established only when you are breastfeeded with a kid. Which means Aisha, she breastfeeding from a woman, and that kid breastfeeding from that woman when they are children. And that will make them brothers. So Muhammad, he ordered that woman for what reason? If there is no relationship. And we showed you the fatwa where it says that the breastfeeding in Islam will not, for adult, will not make it unlawful for a man to have sex with the women. And this is the fatwa in front of you. Breastfeeding will not make it unlawful. And the fatwa 3901. So what the point? Garbage. And because they have garbage, they try to throw it at us calling us names you are a liar you are not telling the truth we show them their fatwas we show them their scholars we show them what they say we show them their opinion they agree this is the true and they agree that the mother of the believer she did the right thing you see those scholars they're saying she did the right thing she did not break anything they agree that the prophet wife she did that and they say no problem with that they did not say what Abbas said. And this is the other fatwa. Let me post both for them, both of them for you. This fatwa here is number 200111. As you see in the screen, Google did not translate the number from uh, Arabic to English. But this is the date of publication, and this is the title, and let me post the link for both, again. And here you, notice, you need to ask yourself a very simple question. Why the Muslims, the scholars, they say this is true, and why dummies in YouTube, they are trying to fight it? Which one we should believe? 
I think the answer is very simple. The answer is very simple. This is the religion. This is what they have. And Muslims' opinion of each other is a clear evidence that the second you try to refuse something Muhammad he said, showing that Muslims are inconsistent with their belief, somehow they want to establish a new religion, have zero defect, have zero issues. When Yasser Qadi, he said to them, there is a, the, 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 the standard, the narrative has whole. They went crazy. And they start attacking the guy nonstop. Suddenly he became a kafir. Suddenly they start, they, they, they start making a bully video about him. Actually, when I went to the uh, page of this guy, uh, Shatila, I found that this Twitter, Page is the page of it of bully. They are just bullying each other. Yasser Qadi, uh, refuting Yasser Qadi, Ras, even Shabir Ali, even Shabir Ali is a kafir for them. Shabir Ali is a kafir. The deception of Shabir Ali. I mean, can you name for me one Muslims? Don't call the other Muslim names and don't label him. Where is uh, Shabir Ali tweet? Hold on. Someone like Shabir Ali. They're talking about Shabir Ali, how, how kafir he is. Let me find it. <laughs> Shabir Ali is a kafir. Yasser Qadi is a kafir. I mean, everybody is a kafir. Who is left is not a kafir. Everybody is a kafir, brother. It's a religion of Kuffar, brother. There's no believer there. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to find the Kafir Shabir Ali. Uh, look what this Ubaid he said. Just wait. Let me show you what this guy said. Hey, Ubaid, my friend. You are, you are, we showed this hadith already, and I feel sorry for you. Look what you just said. Maybe you are not listening. Hmm. Look what this guy is saying, guys. And try not to laugh with me. It's five time now it, to establish your fosterage, to become your muhram within the two years period. Okay. First of all, Abdul, potato. The abrogation of the five is abrogation for the ten. The ten was for adult. This is what the hadith says. So the hadith says there was ten verses, ten time, verse for adult. And those ten abrogated to five. So, if the five hadith is about children, then this is just not abrogation. But here it says abrogation. These verses were abrogated. To abrogate a hadith, sorry, a verse, it have to be in the same matter. What the matter is, 10 times breastfeeding for adult. So, don't try to play with me. It doesn't work. The hadith is so clear. There's verses sent by Allah that 10 times for adult. And there is a verse sent by Allah for five times for adult. Because you don't abrogate a hadith of adult by hadith by, by verse about five times for children. 
That will not be obligation. That will be a different verse. Obligation is for the same case, same problem, different solution. So do you see when I say they don't have the intelligence even to make a comment, to make an argument? And if it is one case for that woman, where it says, okay, can you recite for us the verse? So we can see if it's one case. Why you Muslims are hiding the verses? Why you Muslims are hiding it? Don't you say that we memorize the Quran in our heart? Who is a Muslim when I give me the verse? Give me the verse, if you dare. I will put it in the screen. Everybody will read it. Can we? Why don't we read the verse? Where is the verse? <laughs> you took it away? And look what you just said. This guy obey, he said. Guys, look what look at this stupidity. So Allah abrogate the Quran and we find the Quran in the hadith because you are giving me hadith. Where is the verse? Can you show me that verse? As long you agreed that it's five time now, establish your first stage. All right, no problem. It's five time now. That means it was 10 before. Can you give me the verse where it says 10 times for a child? Where is the verse? It doesn't any proof that there was 10 times for a child or only about adult. This is why they don't dare to call me. They don't dare to debate me. For in a, the second they open their mouth, Muhammad is dead. Oh, Muhammad, he stink. See, I made my tea, and then now I did not take it, take, take it even a, a slip of it. You see, guys, what did you do to me? Hmm. Ah, finally, we drank the tea. I forgot about it. I I was very occupied with the breastfeeding topic. I mean, it's not easy. You woke up in the morning and you find somebody sending you a video about breastfeeding for adult. Islam is very beautiful religion. You are walking down street and the open-minded Muslims he say, hey brother, please, 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 not please, please come to our house and suckle my wife boobs. You have to do it 10 times, brother. The other brother, he said to him, brother, excuse me, this one is abrogated by five times, so you should invite him only for five. Hmm. Come on, Abbas, you are a joker. He could not, see, he even he admit he cannot understand Pal Talk. Even a stupid program that like Pal Talk, he can't understand it. So we can understand Quran. He could not understand Pal Talk. <laughs> Abbas, you are the one who gave me the help for today. You exposed your prophet. Uh, Abbas is texting me again. I mean, what's wrong with this kid? Uh, call me again. For God's sake, call me. Okay, I will call you. And now it says you are online, Khalid. It says right there, I see it online. What is that? It says what? You need to update? Okay. What we will do? Use a computer. Use a computer. Maybe your Android is old or something. <sighs> so, how many of you will download the video 
give me one if you are going to download it because I'm not going to keep the video I will take it down maybe in three or four hours from now I have to go because honestly like there is a lot of a breastfeeding waiting for me I'm trying to be a very good decent Muslim brother who practice Islam as the Prophet he said to us and because he said only Sahla Ummu Suhail according to Muslims I'm going to look for Sahla it's only Sahla can feed me he Sahla are you there a shout out to Sahla bin to Suhail if you are alive please contact us right now because you are the only one Allah he made a verse for you to do breastfeeding for Sakalin as some fool they try to say you make me die laughing at your stupidity only Sahla so why the scholars they say no not only Sahla who who dare to say Aisha was doing something horrible who dare from the Muslims to make a video says Aisha she did something very filthy because this is filthy to order your sisters and your nieces to suckle men who they are strangers who of you dare to say so as long you agree in your opinion Abbas that this is not allowed why you don't make a video saying this is filthy why you don't say it do you dare why don't they have to say your opinion? A wife of the Prophet ordering the wives and her sisters because the wives refuse, the other wives they refuse, right? Why? Because this is sick, this is stupid. This is why they refuse. And actually, I believe Aisha, she was doing something wrong. She liked it, maybe. I agree with Abbas. Abbas. Me and you, let us launch a party called anti Aisha party, zone the Shia. Because in the how in the world Aisha she do that, man? How the wife who you take a lot of hadith from her to confirm issues, suddenly you don't confirm her issue. Do you see? Do you see the double standard of those Muslim Sunni? Tons and tons and tons of her practice is taken from what Aisha she said. Suddenly Aisha practice is wrong. Can you believe it? Suddenly Aisha she is a bad woman. Now, some of you asked me to talk about topics in Patreon. And when I go live, I really forgot to speak about them. Uh, one is about Muhammad when he go out Aisha she was you know spying at him and he did hit her when he learned that she was spying at him and why she was spying and what he was doing obviously the wives of Muhammad don't trust Muhammad nobody trusts him nobody who is going to trust such a man do you trust him when we showed the Muslim that their book saying that the, if the Prophet his eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce her so the prophet he will take her what the Muslim they said to me <laughs> he cannot take her right away he had to wait for three months well Sophia he killed her husband he slept with her after a few hours how come he did not wait for three months no IQ this is the answer which is a proving that Muhammad he don't follow Islam and Muhammad he will not mostly accept that his wife Aisha is going to give her boobs to a stranger but he want Muslims to give their boobs do you ever go to unquiet you of uh, uh, we can go but you have to give me a topic you know we like we, we talk about many things there I don't know if you have to give me a topic we can talk about it we can go and quiet you of like and uh, actually I need to prepare some videos for the future uh, because I will take uh, a few weeks off from YouTube I will be busy uh, I told somebody I will be busy some you know so uh, uh, 
but this is not now it's going to take a few months from now I will go in, I will go in the summertime so uh, maybe we can cover many many issues by making uh, uh, videos about them but you have to help me to say to me what what uh, topic we will talk about and please don't ask me about to talk about breastfeeding for adult are you saying it's still 10 time my friend who care if it's still 10 time or five time or obeyed why you are not listening obeyed our friend obeyed here obviously he is not listening obeyed focus with me please look what obeyed he said are you saying it is still 10 times I do not understand your point. Why do you keep using Ibn Ishaq version of the Hadith? First, I'm not using the version of Ibn Ishaq or any version. I'm using the version of Aisha. And you Muslims agree that this is Sahih. When Aisha, she order her sisters to breastfeed Anyone want to enter upon her? And then you Muslims approve the hadith saying this is Sahih. And when Aisha, she ordered her sisters, she ordered them to do five times, which means she was practicing the abrogated verses. She was what? Practicing the abrogated verses. I mean, the abrogation verse, I mean, sorry, not the abrogated. The abrogation verse, because the five time is the abrogation, the abrogated is ten time. So Aisha, she was practicing the five time breastfeeding for adult. And they are using the example of this woman that the prophet he gave her the order to suckle him ten times as a reason and the same time they have a verse of five time don't post a video of muslims in the chat you know otherwise you are tr trying to promote their stupidity let the muslims say whatever they want don't go around either you refute ref ref them yourself or don't post their videos around so the story is very simple obeyed did aisha did practice fornication because this is a form of fornication ordering her sisters and her nieces and they are women females to give their breast to strangers if so how come none of the muslims starting from her father stood against her if this is wrong where is the muslims who stood against aisha saying to her you cannot do that where is the caliphate How come Aisha, she have a wrong understanding and the Caliphate, they don't have any point against her? How come the Muslim did not go angry against her and throw rocks at her house? As you do to anyone who says something you don't like. In the top of that, you agree that what Aisha, she did is right and we showed you the fatwa. We showed you the fatwa. Fatwa number 200111. Translation of Google, the issue of a breastfeeding to the elder, to an adult. Our opinion about the mother of the believers, Aisha. This is what she did. They agree. There's nothing wrong with that. So when you Muslims, you try to reject and your scholars, they accept. And even if, let us say, scholars, they reject too. That means Islam is a stupid cult. 
Because how come, I mean, if Allah, he solved a problem for a woman, he created a problem for everybody. And now the Muslims are fighting over it. What is the wisdom in that? Are you saying to me that your God, he make you confused? Are you saying to me that your God is silly? Don't Allah, he knew that people now they will practice. Don't he knew that Aisha, she will, she will take it as for her too? If it's meant to be for that woman only? How come Aisha who lived with Muhammad, sleep in the bed of Muhammad, she got it wrong? Why? She did not ask her husband? He didn't have a Twitter at that time, so she can text him? This is her husband. And actually, she is his favorite food, as Muhammad described her in a shameful way. Muhammad, he believed women are the same as a food. Aisha is the same as rice compared to the rest of the food for Muhammad. All those issues proving one thing for us. Islam is a silly cult. And when your scholars agree that what Aisha she did is a true, it is sahih. And we are showing you the translation made by Prophet Google. But by the way, this website, I think they have the same fatwa, you can find it in English, but I don't know how to find it. Maybe you can search for it. All right. Yeah, and Muhammad, he says, I did not receive revelation except not the garment in the house, in, in, in not in the garment, in the in the clothing. The garment can be anything. In the dress of Aisha. Muhammad, he said, that I never received revelation except in the dress of Aisha. So if Aisha is bad and she don't understand anything, how come Allah, he support, he sent the Quran only when she is in the house of Aisha, wearing the clothes of Aisha, in the bed of Aisha, and then what is the Quran? What about the Quran who sent to him when he was in the house of Khadija? <laughs> Why Allah will not send Quran to Muhammad unless he is in the house of Aisha? <laughs> yeah, Muhammad, he sit in the bed. He look at this teenage girl or little girl and he like he inspiration just started, man. Oh boy. Yeah. Only Quran come when he is in the clothes of Aisha. Tell me the Arabic name, my friend. If you open, if you open the, if you open the link, Harris. If you open the link, it's going to open for you in Arabic anyway. And then you can use Google Translation. All right. I just gave you the website. And look at this fatwa here. It says that the breastfeeding for adult will not establish any lawful relationship. So what the point? Rida al kabir la yuharim. Fatwa number 3901. Breastfeeding for adult will not make a woman forbidden from a man. So why? Why Muhammad he ordered the woman to do that? Still he can sleep with her. Well, this is an official, I think this is an official website from Qatar. Let me check. Yeah. And there's many Islamic uh, you know, uh, government official websites. But let me check this website is coming from where? Let us see if I go. Usually they put that in the bottom of it. Um, actually, you can search for domain. Yeah, I tried to go and see in the website, but I remember once I checked, it was uh, from Qatar. The contact, it was Qatar, I think. Uh, let us see.
Mm, I don't see anything here really. Anyway, you can contact them. That's not my business. And that will not change anything for me anyway. It's your Muslim website. And uh, run by scholars. They have a sanctions for fatwa. You see, when I go, if you go down in the bottom of the page, you will see it says like English. So you can click at English, maybe you can find some information there, depending on your language. And maybe you can search in the English section about the breastfeeding for adults. Let me see actually, maybe let me try. Maybe we can find the article in uh, breast feeding for adult. Uh, let us see. <clears throat> I'm trying to find the same article. Okay. Yeah, but you see, I notice here that what is in Arabic is not the same as what is in English. It's you know, it's a, it's obviously it's like a cover up for what the because where where is the article in Arabic? The same article. I cannot find it. Yeah, always English versions of Islam is different from Arabic version. The same as Ibn Kathir interpretation. If we go to Ibn Kathir in Arabic, we will find things, pages, explaining a verse, one verse, is gone in the English translation. Uh, you got the English? Okay, Harris, I don't know if you can post it. Maybe you can post it under the, the, the chat later in the comment section, if it's the same one. Are you sure it's the same one? Because it might be and it's not the same. Anyway, so anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. It's time for me to go. And don't worry, I'm not going to do breastfeeding for adult. Uh, for many reasons. Uh, number one, I'm not going to go to my neighbor and do that he will shoot me he's a very aggressive man and my town is very well armed town I mean everybody have guns here if you go trust me if you go to a woman in this town and you say to her I want to do breastfeeding for for you you will end dead in the spot she will not even say hello to you in my town, if a woman, she open her purse, most likely she is going to get a Magnum 500. Yeah, and by the way, somebody asked me, what is your favorite gun? My friend, uh, he said to me to make a video about it. He said, what do you want to, our channel to be about guns? <laughs> but if you are seeking like a personal protection, the smaller it is, the better it is if you want to hide it. If you are going like in the, in the, in the wood, uh, for camping, for me, I prefer to take a Magnum 500. Why? Because it can kill a bear by one shot. Very powerful gun. But this is not for everybody to carry. So, uh, if if you are speaking about security, you know, get a gun fit with your situation. If you want to hide it, like some states in USA, you have to hide it. Some states you don't. It's the opposite. So, if you have to hide it, maybe the smallest is the best. Because it does the job, you know, it maybe it's not too much powerful, but you can get a small gun for like nine millimeters, whatever brand is. Just be sure to have a good safety. Uh, and uh, if you have a wife, you want to teach her how to protect herself, well, get her a shotgun. 
she will never miss. <laughs> but remember, she never, she can, she, that can work for you too. She will never miss you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, and always those who handle guns, you know, you have to be wise, you have to be smart, and you have to follow the law. Because a gun in the hand of a fool will destroy his future. Do you understand me? Will make you a criminal. Simple mistake can destroy your future totally. You can spend the rest of your life in jail. So never touch a gun if you are not a person who can be, let us say, a, a patient and can stay cool when wrong things happen. Those things can be used only for self-defense when you are really your life in a threat. It's not to show off. It's not to play with it. It's not, it's, it, this is not made for the fool. If you are a fool, you will end in a very bad place. So don't go there. If you know you don't have patience, if you know you have a temper, if you don't know you, know you cannot control yourself, and if you know you have a bad judgment, don't. Stay away from it. Always be, be careful and you have to be obedience to the law, which means if the law says you cannot buy a gun, don't buy a gun. If the law says in your state, your country, you can buy one, do it by the law. And practice carrying your gun according to the law, according to the system you, are, you belong to. Otherwise, uh, guns in the hand of the fool can make him look really an, like an idiot. He will, he will turn into an idiot. Don't get too close to it. Uh, anyway, uh, for me, it's my hobby. I don't carry guns really for protection as much it is for, I like it, I like I like weapons since I was a kid. So I don't have a gun because I'm afraid of anyone, but eh, that's what I like. And everybody likes things, you know, people, uh, some people like football, some people like whatever. I like guns, eh, what we can do. All right, so I wanna say thank you guys for being here. And uh, there is uh, somebody will say after life. Okay, uh, they are saying Rob Christian. You know, I don't, I don't watch his video, but you know, God to bless him, whatever he do, or Sam Shamoon, or ever who do videos. Subscribe to them, support them, and uh, uh, I want to say thank you again for being here. And don't do breastfeeding for adult because this is will bring shame to your lips. That lips who suck those nipples. They will be a sinful lips, a stranger woman. Unbelievable. Imagine if a Trump, he was a Muslim, practicing the Sunnah of the Prophet, and his wife, she meet thousands of people a day. His wife, she will bring her family and her nieces from Poland. And they will open suckling desk table reception. Anyone want to enter the White House because this is her house. They have to suckle. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now I understand why Trump he don't want to be a president no more. <laughs> Actually, he won't. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. Islam is funny, is a stupid, is made by a dummy for a dummy. Are you a dummy? I'm sure there's many Muslims there are not dummy, and only dummies would do practice what Muhammad said. And actually, the proof that the majority of Muslims are not being dummy, they don't want to follow Muhammad no more. If you ask Muslims, how many of you want to practice what Muhammad practiced? Nobody want to practice it. Muhammad used to take a shower with dead dogs water and women full with the blood of women from period, a stinky water. No Muslim want to do that. Why? Because they knew this is bad. Nobody want to follow Muhammad. Why they don't have Sharia law in Pakistan? Because Muslim don't want it. Why don't they have Sharia law in Egypt? Because they don't want it. Erdogan who recite the Quran 24 hours, seven days a week. Who claim that he is a Muslim. He don't want it. Actually, even I found in the in the Twitter here of this guy uh, Omar they are talking about Erdogan they say do you think Erdogan is a Muslim and they are saying to you he is part of the NATO he so he, he, he attack Islam and he don't practice Sharia the conclusion he is not a Muslim 
He's not. Even Erdogan is not Muslim. Nobody want to be a Muslim. Night club is open in Turkey. Prostitution. You name it. Drugs. So where is Erdogan, the Muslim who pray to Allah, who want to free Jerusalem, who want to do jihad? If you remember the guy, just before we finish, uh, Pope are leaving your religion at mass in the West. My friend, you are wrong. If you come to USA, you can go any to any place where it's a church, and you will see there's no parking lot empty for cars because it's overloaded. You have no idea. Uh, But you know, there's always some kind of Muslims which I really like. And those kind are like here. You know, let me show you. Those are practicing really true Islam, practicing the breastfeeding for adult, making Islam something beautiful, very beautiful. This is a Dawah channel, and this is our brother, the Muslim brother, great brother, the one who created the first book to speak about science and the Quran. And there's a video of the guy whose name is Yusuf State speaking about how wonderful his book is. He said, this is the book I was looking for, and look at the wine, brother. And look at the mask for the girl's brother. And look at the champagne, brother. It is heaven. And then he will open the door. And 17 non version will be waiting for him. Alhamdulillah. The version are coming now. This is an official Islamic Dawah TV station. by the founder of Quran and science. Those are the version. Later you will see the version here. And now they are dancing. Very beautiful. Look at love. Look at this. One after one, he have to dance with every one of them. Wonderful shake. He cannot find those kind of shakes everywhere. This is in the country of Erdogan. And this is an Islamic Dawa station. And this is the founder of Quran and science. This is a sheikh. And look at this, man. Not like the poor me. I sat for five hours on the computer, break my back speaking to dudes. Look at this. I want to open a Dawa channel in Turkey. so good to be true hold on i want some music with this guys i need to go and watch it because simply what is that commercial now i mean do you need do you know like the youtube can feel like you can feel your heart is beating harder now so youtube you put the commercial in the perfect time shame on you youtube now, come on Oh boy. I mean, now the commercial. I mean, are you serious? Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Can you do that? This guy was doing all of this all years. And not a single Muslim who opened his mouth against him. One day he spoke against Erdogan. He supported the Golan, the founder of Erdogan, the one who made Erdogan a president. The guy who lived in Pennsylvania, USA. 
just because he made a statement, Erdogan, he put him in jail. And he made a long list of accusations so he will stay in jail for the coming century. But my friend, this is the Islamic version of Turkey. It's beautiful. It's exciting. It is halal. And hold on, you might say this is in Turkey. And this guy, he don't present Islam. What about the sheikhs in Pakistan and Afghanistan who bring a boy who dress like a girl? I forgot the name of the, what they call him, Bazabashi, what they call him? They bring a boy. Anyone remember the name of the kid? I mean, what they call him? Those are the Muslim Sunni Sheikh. They bring a kid. They make him dress as a girl who put on makeup. I'm trying to remember the name of the thing so I can search for it in Google. It's like, like Bazar Bashi, something like that. Anyone here from Afghanistan? Bacha Bazi, okay, hold on. Bacha Bazi, Bacha. Taliban, they do that. And there's documentary done by official uh, TV stations like BBC, RT. They bring shakes. Look, those are boys dressed as girls and they dance for them. And those are Mujahideen. And then after that, in the documentary in the BBC, they were saying the big shake he will sleep with the boy. Sometimes they are very young, sometimes they are teenage. This is Islam. So don't say this is the Shia, don't say this is Shia, Sunni, they, this is Islam, my friend. And if you speak about dignity, nobody speak about dignity as they do. And I'm talking about those, they call themselves Orthodox Muslims. Boys dressed like women with makeup for them. Look how small this kid. Can you believe it? How sick this society is. Dancing Boys Full documentary. 52 minutes. Go watch it. RT documentary, 27 minutes. I don't know where is the BBC one, but I remember I saw it in the BBC before. Now, this is reality, and reality is sick, my friend. I want to say thank you very much. Feel free to search for these videos. This is Islam, you are a liar. You cannot address as a woman when you are a man. Well, so why you are doing it, Mr. Ubaid? And your prophet was addressing like a woman too. Do you want to show you the hadith? Isn't it your prophet? He said, I never say, I never receive Quran except in a thawb, except the thawb of Aisha. Huh? Obeyed, in the front of everybody, are you willing to call me? And I will show you the hadith with the Islamic translation saying that the Prophet, he was wearing the clothes of Aisha. Yes or no? You see, I was going to leave, but I'm willing to stay just for you. What do you think? Obeyed, are you willing to call me? And I will show you your prophet wearing women's clothing. And not only that, your prophet, he pee like a woman. 
He pee like a woman. He sit down. You're a prophet. He put eyeliner three times a day at least. And you're a prophet wearing women clothing. And I will show you in the top of that, you're a prophet exchanging kisses with the man in their belly. What do you want more? And I will show you a hadith. Your prophet have a homosexual in his house. Are you going to call me? Okay, you will Fifi refuted me. So what we can say? Here we go. The answer, guys. Fifi refuted me. That's it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> why you are here? <laughs> and why Fifi don't come? She's wearing the bazza bashi, you know. So. Fifi, yeah, they refuted me. Yeah, so. so there is no point then uh, while you are here. You are just a kid. How much pain you are suffering from, Fifi? That's for you, you know. I'm showing you your prophet. Here we go. Let me show you this before we leave. Just, you know, just for uh, refresh your memory. I challenge you to tell me. Why a man kissing a man down his belly? What is that? Are you there, Abayd? Yeah, you refuted me. All of you refuted me. I mean, have, have you ever a Muslim see? You Muslim refute each other too. Yes, al Qadi is a scam. I know, uh, um, attacking each other. You refute each other, no problem. What do you think now? Why a man kissing a man down his belly? Do you practice that yourself with your friends? Do you take off your t-shirt so you get topless? The man he came to Muhammad, Muhammad he tickled him with a stick. <laughs> the guy he said, stop, stop. I have no t-shirt, but you have a t-shirt. You are wearing a shirt, but I am not. The prophet then he raised his shirt. He did what? He raised his shirt. Then the man embraced him and began to kiss his what? This is your Muslim translation, his side. Do you see it? Are you there, Ubaid? I want you, all of you, if you are a truly Muslims who believe that the Prophet was doing the right thing from now on, when you see your Muslim friend, raise up your shirt, show your skin, and let your friend kiss you down your side, according to the translation. This is your Muslim translation. From now on, don't shake hands. This is what the Prophet did. Is it a shame? And take a video of it. Why the Prophet here raise up his shirt? And then he said, this is what I wanted. Look, look. And then he said, this is what I wanted, O Messenger of Allah. This is what he wanted. Like finally the dream come true. To do what? To kiss you down your belly? <laughs> what a joke. <clears throat> oh... Oh Lord, have mercy. Our prophet is the best man, my friend. Imagine if a Christian prince, he go in the street, a Muslim, they record me, and there's a guy kissing me in my side. What they will do? They will make a scandal about it. Allah Akbar, did you see guys what he did? Allah, a'uzu billah, a'uzu billah. <laughs> but as long as Muhammad did it, it's okay. It's okay. Normal, this is a normal thing. It's normal for men to lift the shirt of each other and then embrace each other and then they kiss each other down their belly. That's very normal. Nothing wrong with that. And it's okay for a man to put eyeliner in his eyes. Hey, my brother, what do you have in your eyes? Eyeliner. Why you are doing that like the prophet? Why you want to be pretty? You see, in the old days, they used to do eyeliner, use eyeliner as a medicine. I understand that. But you don't do it three times every day. You do it as a medicine if something happened to you. If. I mean, do we get sick in our eyes every day? Even the Arab, they said, look, he piss like a woman.
And actually, even your prophet, he promised you, and you will say to me, this is Da'if now. That in the heaven, there is a market where there is no buying, neither selling. Uh, let us see if we can find the hadith. Supposed I finish long time ago. I'm, I'm sure you're used to it, guys, right? When I say, okay, it's time to go, it's me like there's one more hour left. <laughs> I know you hate me, I know. It's okay. Maybe breastfeeding will fix my, my bad habit by time. And look, the Muslim, they say to you, this is Da'if. Brother, this is Da'if, Da'if. But Da'if is accepted still. Indeed, in paradise, there's a market which there is no buying nor selling except the image of men and women. So whenever a man desire an image, he enter it. Well, isn't it the Quran says whatever you wish? The Quran says whatever you wish. Whatever you wish means whatever you wish. If you wish a man, you get a man. If you wish a boy, you get a boy. If you wish a girl, you get a girl. And look, it's a business. You have to pay for it. It's not for free. Because this is no buying nor saying except Which means there is buying and there is selling, but the exception is that this is images of men and women. If you like the image, this is like the first virtual sex play playboy magazine market. If a man he like an image, he will enter it, i.e. become his. And then in this market too, the whore, they will be gathering there too. This is where you get your whore from. Ali radiallahu anhu said, the Messenger of Allah said in paradise there is a market, and he narrated that the same hadith, except that he said, if a man desire an image, he will enter it. And he said, in it there is gathering of al hur al ain who raised their voices and narrated the same report. This is Islam. I know most of them have a problem with this. Right? What we can do. So, thank you again. God bless you. I'm leaving. And actually, I'm thinking, don't be upset from me, that if I go coming in the coming uh, broadcast, maybe I will stop the chat because the chat would make my video long. Because you guys make a comment and then I have to refuse, answer it, especially when Muslims like scholars, like Abbas, they pff, so tough on me. I mean, pff, they, I mean, they beat me. And they refute me. And, uh, you know, yeah, literally show Da'if. So what if it's Da'if? Da'if is accepted. This is why it's called Da'if, you idiot. Do you know what Da'if mean? Da'if mean there's a rank. There's very authentic, we are sure from. And there's Da'if, which means we, we cannot deny it, we cannot refuse it, and we cannot say it's authentic 100%. That's what Da'if mean. Don't you know the Sheikh who said Da'if hadith is a Da'if argument? <laughs> Da'if hadith is a da'if argument. Are you ignorant or what? You do not know your religion like the rest of you, don't you? Isn't it this is your Sheikh, Sheikh Hamza, saying there is an attack on da'if hadith, and those who do that, they have a weak argument, da'if argument. Are you Muslims ignorant or what? Yes, they are. Let us see, hold on. Da'if, huh? Da'if, let us move the. It didn't relate to a hukum. In aqidah, or the hadith that tu'arad alayya a'malukum, or a'malu ummati in al-bazaar, which is a sahih hadith. So, the ulama don't reject weak hadith. They don't. And the, so this argument against the weak hadith is, is, uh, is a weak argument. Are you there, and that is why Imam al-Awza'i is on, one of the great... 
Obeid, are you there? The argument of weak hadith is a weak argument. Did you hear it? Or you are deaf when you want? The ulama don't reject weak hadith. They don't. And the, so this argument against the weak hadith is, is, uh, is a weak argument. Are you there, Obeid? The weak hadith argument is a weak argument. Who is saying that? <laughs> Anything they don't like, they say it's weak. And that's supposed to, that's, that's it. We, we, we solve the problem. That's it. Even Quran is weak. <laughs> anything, anything you say to them, they have one answer, it's weak. It's like the medicine of Muhammad. Anyone who comes to him, he have one of two medicine. Either he asks him to drink honey or to drink camel urine. It doesn't matter if you, even if you have diabetes. Drink, drink uh, honey. Like, well, you know, diabetes. Drink honey. It's a week. Right? We go make a video refute him then. Get, uh, okay, guys, he's not, this guy is not a scholar. He is what's quoting for you, the scholars. And if this is a weak hadith and it is rejected, so why it's in the book? You see how stupid what you are saying? If the weak hadith mean it is thrown out, why you put it in the book and the book it's called Sahih? Do you see how stupid the argument is? Why it's in the book? Is the book we are quoting from are accepted by Muslims or it is rejected? Is a Jami al Turmudi? It's called Sahih Jami al Turmudi, the authentic book of a Turmudi. So the name of the book is Sahih, but the book is not. <laughs> and the reason he did not take it off because simply he cannot. He cannot reject it. If it's rejected, he would throw it out. He would say, okay, because remember, all the books of Hadith is written after filtration. This is what is left. This is after the filtration. So you can imagine what was there before the filtration. Okay, uh, uh, Obaid, I was going to leave, but I will stay with you. I want to show you something from the Quran. And you tell me, is it weak? Is it weak? As an example, the story of the guy who died, the king who died, the prophet who died, and he was holding the stick, and the genie did not notice him that he is dead. Is it weak? <laughs> I'm waiting for your answer. Is it weak? It's not called Sahih al -Turmudi. Okay, what if I got you busted and show you that it's called Sahih al -Turmudi? It's not Sahih al -Turmudi? Mm hmm Really? Look like we are reading the different book, my friend. All right. Do you see? Tahmeel Kitab Sahih Turmudi. Idiot. It is Sahih. Let us translate. <laughs> what it says? Download Sahih at Turmudi. <laughs> poor, poor Muslims. They don't know how to, 
They don't know how they can, you know, I mean, whatever they say, the spank is coming left, up, down, it doesn't matter. I, I wonder those guys, when they leave the chat, how many injuries they have. How much camel urine they need to take to fix it. It's not Sahih al -Turmudhi. There's nothing it's called Sahih al -Turmudhi. No, this is the name. It is Sahih al -Turmudhi. There's many books. And if you search right now for the authentic Sahih Hadith for the Muslim Sunni, you will find that there are six authentic books. One of them is at Turmudi, Ibn Majah, etc. And this is why what happened when you, you when you argue with kids. You see, because kids they can say whatever they want. When a word he asked Mimi, your God, he have a part. What Mimi he said, who said so? Because he's a kid, he can say whatever he want. A scholar, he will not dare to say so. If you are a street kid, you can say whatever you want. Who's going to count what you are saying? You can throw whatever you want. Anyway, now I'm leaving. Now I'm leaving because now this is a, that's final. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And uh, I leave you with a good time to enjoy the rest of the video. I mean, uh, uh, if you are if you did not watch it from the beginning, don't forget to download the video because in a few hours from now, I will take it down. I promise. I will take down the video before it too. I promise. So download it. And uh, this is how I find out if the video is already out. I, I There's some channels who they download my videos. Uh, I check them. If the video is there, I take it right away. So we will take it off in a few hours. Please download the video, share it with your friends. You don't need to publish it if you don't like to publish. Just save it in your uh, library so you can have a library of information and reference. And you can always, anytime, defeat the cult of Islam, any place, any country in the world. If you are from Indonesia, if you are from, from Pakistan, you are from wherever you are, Islam is the most stupid, ignorant cult. And Muslims, they need our help. We don't hate them. We will never hate them. Otherwise, we will become like Muhammad. We will become serving the devil. Never hate them. Hate lies. Fight lies. Fight for freedom. Freedom of speech. Freedom of truth. And even the one who say lies, he have the right to say his lies. This is what freedom of speech mean. Muslims don't want that. Because the second people they talk, Islam collapse. Thank you very much. Feel free to read my books. You can find them in Amazon. And if you are a person coming from certain countries, which like Indonesia, Albania, Russia, all poor countries, I gave them my books for free, translated in their language. And the admins, they post the link for you from time to time. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again soon. And maybe not tomorrow, maybe the day after. We will see. Thank you. God bless.